Thanks, Mike. Um, hi, this is Afat. I am a software developer from Platform Team Hedgehog. Um, I will do a little bit of demo of the working part of the matrix, whatever we have worked so far. So I'll just share my screen. Um, can everyone see my screen? presenting can everyone see yep awesome perfect all right so um first demo um, i'll be showing you a little bit of uh, some workflow of a teacher some of the some how happens for a student stuff like that and also how a teacher goes through and creates and uh, sets up their communication instance stuff like that so um this is the first uh user i'm going to show you so this is leah baker who is actually a teacher so let's say leah has a um has an existing course which is winter semester so I go into the course and I can see there is a there is a there is a communication instance already because I can see um, see the icon there. So I go to participants and I can see yes, there should be two one, one of one teacher um, and he says manager, but he's already a student. So there were two students and one teacher. So if I go to uh, the element chat and it, you can see I have the winter semester already created. Um, I will show you how it cre gets created, but yeah, you can see people are already chatting there. Um, but yeah, I can see some communication and maybe I don't like how Olivia talks and she's a little bit of sarcastic. So I maybe try to inactive her later. But before I do that, if I quickly go to Olivia's profile, so she's a student um, and if I come to my courses, so she already has a couple of courses, but I can go to winter semester, she's a student here. And then she clicks there, she gets into the straight away into the matrix again. Uh, and she can see the course. So she can see what, what's happening inside his uh, communication channels and stuff like that. So um, as a teacher, as uh, so I'm Leah, so as a teacher, I think, okay, I'm not gonna continue Olivia, Olivia to continue with her sarcast, sarcastic comments and stuff like that. So I decide to maybe suspend her for now. So I do that. Um, and then in the background, I'm actually running the schedule task um, very quickly. And if I go there, okay, my task is still running. Uh, but yeah, you can see I have done this, some of this before that, okay, if I suspend it, um, you can just say that, okay, someone removed, Safa Chine is actually the admin user who actually can remove uh, people from the room, who can actually uh, re-add people when they non-suspend them or re-add them back to the enrollment stuff like that. Um, so how this actually happens in action? So for example, I have I have all these courses here. So for example, I have fall semester, uh, which actually doesn't uh, doesn't really have any communication button, right? So if I come to edit this, and I have you can see I have none. So I have nothing selected. So if I select matrix, um, so the good thing is you can leave it empty, and it will pick up the course name by default. Um, so if I if I can say that course for um, fall, and maybe the room check topic something to explain here so if i click that and save changes you will straight away see that your chat room will be ready soon so things happen asynchronously so when things are happening um it will give you those kind of notification that okay your chat room is ready or not ready and when the schedule task is finally finished running uh it will show you a message saying your chat room is ready I'm um, sorry about that. My schedule is still running, maybe because I created a lot of data. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it, and that's pretty much the workflow for teacher and students. And of course, admins will have pretty much the same thing for them. Uh, they will be able to access the room and stuff like that as long as they're they're part of the course and stuff like that. Um, and also, whatever you do inside, for example, you disable enrollment method and do anything action they're actually aligned with the communication api so if you disable something delayed user disable course those kind of things actually triggers the api and removes user from the room and stuff like that um that's pretty much it i believe does anyone have any questions Is it a pluggable system? Can there be uh, integration with a different chat system instead of Matrix? Um, yes, they can, you can. So it's a communication API. So it's a provider plugin type. So people can actually um, create different types of plugins. So we build Matrix as a part of our 
first part of our proof of uh, concept. So you can actually build some something else uh, if there is any requirement. So it's, it's, these are all plugins. And this is the icon. So as you can see, this blue icon from the course. So for example, I am Olivia. So I'm in my course, winter semester. And this is my course here. Um, I just continue. Um, so I go to my courses. Oh, I, I just got unenrolled. So yeah, so for example, if I come here and let's say participants, um, and I just re-enable Olivia very quickly. And I see Olivia here. So yeah, so I can see that I can see that icon and straight away I click that icon and I'll go here and I'll see all the messages and stuff like that. Um, and also whatever actions to be done is pretty much aligned with Matrix API anyways. Um, and so far China is actually the admin user from Matrix so which access token we are using. Um, and yes, if admin user, uh, is actually so whoever enrolled into the course should have access to the should have access to the matrix and by default when we create a course it actually adds so for example if i'm an admin user i create a new course um i automatically gets get enrolled and i will be automatically added here so as i can see my schedule task just finished running and i removed olivia so there are two tasks so i removed olivia once and then i added him added half so all this actually finished happening and you can see all those notifications here uh, so, sorry thank you sorry another question from a workplace uh, team perspective how does it work uh, if a course in a forced separate group mode does it um, create one group uh, one chat for one group or does it uh, no. put everybody together no, they will put everybody together. So at the moment, the implementation is entirely course level. So you have enrollment in course, uh, you will get users in that match communication room. But the good news is we have built the API in a way that you can actually use in the group level. And we had this kind of conversation inside our chat, like Hedgehog team chat, that how we do this if it's in group level, how we do this if it's in activity level and stuff like that. Okay, thank you. It's just in the workplace, we separate all tenants very strictly. So. It's important for us. Okay, thank you. Cool. No problem. Um, did I miss any questions? Actually, I think I did. Um, what, yes, um, needs to be. yes, Martin. Sorry. No, no. I'll the question. The other question. Sorry. First, I um, I think yes, Mari. Yes, yes. Um, anyone want to? Get into get into metrics. They will need to be enrolled. Um, so that's how it happens. Instance to instance. Course is an instance. When an install instance is added to metrics, that's a room. And whoever is actually enrolled or added or as a, a member of this instance inside Moodle, they are added to the matrix. So matrix have limited information about what's happening inside Moodle. So it will just do whatever we tell them to do. Uh, but yeah, if there is a requirement at some point to add admins there, we can do that. It's hundred percent doable. Um, can it be used for group chats also? As I said, yes, yes, the API can be, API is reusable. Um, course for this phase, yes, of course, yeah. I think I answered the questions there. Uh, what happens if you add someone manually to the chat? Well, I assume you still can on the matrix side, but they just ignored uh, when Moodle comes and goes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Safat, but yeah, so matrix is still matrix. Yep, so right. if you want to uh, manage your rooms and manage your room admins and do all your admin stuff in Matrix, it's still you still get all of that. So if you wanted to invite a guest, like, and you didn't yeah. want to have them in Moodle for whatever reason, you just add them to Matrix and off you go. Yep, super. Uh, and oh, this is another question I want to ask: is the uh, the internal chat coexists? Does it? Yep. Yeah. So. Uh, so the this functionality in the beginning is in parallel with okay. everything that's in Moodle. We haven't dropped everything else, but okay. if I was using this in practice, I would turn messaging off and mod right. chat off, for example. But you can. This is also um, because of mainly things like not having group support. This is behind an experimental feature flag in 4.2 as well, which means we okay. can land things quickly and test and get feedback and not bet the farm and turn it on for everybody. Cool. Last question is. Um... Can we have a prototype site for the company to play in? It's on my list. Okay, thanks. It's a big list. I'm getting it to the top. Thanks, guys.